good morning uh time is 10:53 a.m. in new york and uh, the date is uh, april 27th uh and uh, s&p is already up guys trading is risky please consult your financial advisor or a broker whoever you take advice from uh whatever i do in this video is for the education purpose only my results are a little bit typical whatever I, the way i trade is like uh very fast in and out most traders they like to hold their money and most traders will going to lose their money beginning traders are mostly i can say like 95% you will going to lose money if you are beginning trader okay so please be careful please do the paper trading before you do with your real money okay and please study before before you do anything this is a digital market and it's very 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 liquid that means you will going to get in filled up any type of orders very very fast and if you want to sell it you will be able to sell it very very fast as well but very very fast you will going to lose your money okay that's just a disclaimer just to let you guys know and whoever is already been trading you guys know how this game is been played all right guys let's go forward and look for let's see, let's see what we can do so far s&p is coming to the almost like a support level right over there but uh, let's just check other things tesla dow john dai basically not dow john uh let's check qqq wix nvidia gold amd neo has some volume today upcome looks like they have some volume but uh, you know but i still don't like to trade this neo because uh, it doesn't move that much and pretty, pretty much sure you see the options they don't move so just you know thousand Thousand options are still moving. See some of them, no doubt. Tesla, Tesla options are definitely moving. No doubt about it. You know, uh, and uh, SPY, SPY just broke that support, basically. But the market is up, no doubt. There are some big bear flag in the market. Let's say some of them are like a bull flag in the market. Apple, check guys. supply and demand there were a lot of supplies right over there that's the reason dropped okay uh qqq microsoft loading up data let's just let it get load up a uh, game it's loading up data is loading up okay uh bitcoin this is a bitcoin this uh, just a regular etf amazon amc tqqq it's not a bitcoin etf and meta meta was like 6 months ago i think so uh, it was running like almost like 120 dollars something something i'm not i'm this i don't remember the price exactly but what i'm trying to say you know like today is running on like 200 and god it just double up his money share price within like a within like a 6 months something like that okay that's microsoft data has already downloaded check microsoft guys almost reached 302 so you know uh let's just trade right now let's check uh how the orders looks like check how that oh shit check the orders for tesla orders for tesla guys 
once the order has been moved out from here that means they have been filled that's what it is they have been filled <laughs> Looking at Tesla guys, Tesla's options are a little bit expensive too. This one is cheap, One thing I like about Tesla, it works with the S&P, but at the same time, it takes some time to turn around. You know, you just need to hold your horses, that's what I can say, you know, to in order to make that money sometime. Let's check SPY. Better to trade put option maybe today. Let's see how this candle is is forming. All right, guys, I'm going with the put options. Already selected my option so far. Waiting to come up. Watching because the market is on the bullish side, that's the reason I'm still kind of like a it's already up 300 and some points, but you know. I uh, don't want to go into the market and get myself killed also. Okay, I'm going in. I have 30 put options so far. Holding 40 put options. Maybe I should add up today like a little bit slowly. Maybe two, two, two. I have already holding up 50 put options guys I'm adding only two to two slowly I'm holding more, buying more. 60 put options, guys. <laughs> 
60 put options Upside is coming guys that's what I feel at this moment in time because looking at the chart I'm a day trader again and whatever I see at the one minute chart and that's the reason I'm like I, I, I make money on the small moves I'm holding 60 put options so far holding it guys this can be a big bear flag let's check which side is ready to break up I'm not I'm not pushing up on any, any side right now just waiting watching Still holding my horse is strong. That's what it is. Watching guys, watching how this is playing down. <laughs> watching very carefully. My account turns into green to red, 120 to like 130, 170, you know, that's what it is. Money is moving in and out very, very quickly. The volume is red as well. There you go. Let's break into the downside. I've been waiting for it. Sorry.
sold sold guys sold four hundred and three dollars up and mm, so put option made me four hundred and three dollars kind of still waiting on um, at this point I'd like to see the buy option buying the uh, this buying of the dip it's not going that much down it went down but not that much but uh, at this point I would like to buy holding 45 50 call options Like to add a little bit more, 60 call options. <laughs> Waiting for it, watching very carefully. Buying more. because it's a strong buy right now strong buy guys they they kicked all the sellers out that's what I can say very very smart people and the algorithm is smart too no doubt want to buy a little bit more I'm holding 85 call options, guys. 85 call options. 85 call options at this point should. It's turning to the downside. Come up, come up. My fingers are right on the on the cell if something happens. sellers are stepping in guys sellers are stepping in again I'm still holding my horses strong no doubt uh, I was up $400 but right now I'm down $54 still like to buy a little bit 90 100 but almost the dip Candle is about to close. Candle is about to close. There you go. Strong buy. Fifty cents move up. I will be done with my 
I will be done with my trading. Still, this is a very good time and I can exit this right now and I'm $500 up, which is a very good money also. Again, you know, uh, I can close this window right now by settling this price. But I'm still believing it will gonna go up. wants to move up but there are a lot of sellers right over there that is what it is wants to move up but there are a lot of sellers right over there let's check how this thing is like forming One leg up should be able to make me very good money, no doubt. Check. It's going like on 800 to like. Come on, come on. Come on, one leg up, man. Come on, come on, come on. Give me thousand. Shit. Give me thousand, give me thousand. Come on, give me thousand. One leg up, one leg up. One leg up, come on. Give me thousand. Give me thousand, come on, come on, man, no. God, Jesus Christ, it's not. I should have closed it on like 900. I'm gonna close this, guys, I'm gonna close this. I'm gonna close this. I'm gonna close this. Ah. I close it in a, almost like the same. Again, guys, uh, I was almost like up at some point, like 900 something, but still. Okay, let's check if I can make it or not. Oh, God, Jesus Christ, my commission just went up. Oh, God. I'm holding 150 call options on SPY. 55, 155 call option in SPY, guys. I wanted to make that thousand dollars, no doubt. Okay, 908. God, Jesus Christ. It was like 1000 and something, something like that. I sold it, but guess what? It did not get filled at that price, guys. It's not getting filled at that price. So, you know, that, that's another thing too. Even you try to exit it because the ask price, bid price has to, that is the bid price I'm selling it. I'm not putting it in the middle or something like that. So there you go. But how many uh, things I have traded so far? 630. 
630 it's 30 cents of commission uh, I hope you guys get it so let me just break this today if I can let's just check uh, call option again if it comes up I will go and buy it let's check looks like uh, looks like not too much 25 okay wants to go up adding up more adding up more holding 50 60 call options guys because it's a very good buy don't come down now holding 60 call option make that more than a little bit thousand dollars because there's a commission right over there guys we got the commission <laughs> come on come on come on it's not getting filled at probably won't get that feel whatever I was looking for okay I'm gonna buy more holding 90 one leg up one leg up should be able to make me very good money and the commission will be free too Come on, move up, sold, and I'm up $1,218. Let's check the commissions, 810. Shit. Let's check the com commission, guys, uh, 810. <laughs> 810, okay, bye. 30 cents, 243 dollars in commission 243 dollars in commission if i would have hold it i knew it was going up no doubt uh, so but uh, i did not get filled for the higher price did got a little bit filled for a higher price also but not that much but at this point i would have like made probably like 400 to 500 dollars but uh, still good money guys i don't want to trade anymore that's it uh, it's like almost like a 28 minutes uh 28 29 minutes of trading of my time within half an hour i made almost like a more than thousand dollars but on the commission side i made like probably like thousand dollars but uh, again trading is risky guys if you're trading please uh be careful you know and uh, that's what i can say i'm gonna make a technical analysis video but uh, my computer was getting a little bit hang i was trying to do it but it's not allowing me but i don't know some reason that software from the child shop is like a getting hang but child shop software gives me a live data if I'm doing it on Yahoo, it might take me some, uh, I have to wait till like the end of the session to make that technical analysis video. Uh, some things are like change and some things are like uh, the Dow Jones is like up and the S&P is up. The Dow Jones transportation is, uh, it was like down like almost like 600 to like almost like 800 points. But what I'm trying to say, you know, like a uh, it's like still like a like going in a sideways direction it's like a swing days and the earnings are coming uh, a lot of companies are reporting the earnings and all god jesus christ look at this look at this they were filling up all the orders right over here look at this this move would have like made at least two three thousand dollars no doubt god god look at this but again i'm not worried guys i'm not i'm not looking for this i'm not trying to chase this market when you chase the market you're probably going to lose that's what happens most traders they do lose because of this like someone is chasing the market you should be having some rules for yourself that's what i can say you should be having some rules for yourself god somebody bought a lot no doubt somebody bought a lot a lot of shares on smp that that move I can imagine would have made like at least five six thousand dollars at this point at least five thousand dollars no doubt <laughs> at least five thousand dollars but I, i'm i'm not watching it i'm not getting crazy about it 
because uh, once you get uh, caught up with the things and uh, you you do get killed that's what i can say you will going to get killed no doubt you're going to get killed so please be careful if you're trading you know no doubt about it please be careful if you're trading so what i can say right now is all all is this you know like please be careful please hit the subscribe button like and share my video please don't forget to like my video there are a lot of people who are watching it i know that they are not subscribing it please uh, it helps the youtube algorithm to understand uh, that uh, this video is like good for the people for the beginners people to whoever is like trying to learn about trading it it, it will going to pop up on their screen they'll understand how the trading has been done you know basically basically you when you like the video and all it will going to help the other people basically it will going to come on their video or on on their screen to watch this video also okay please guys thank you very much for your support and please stay in peace and always stay blessed thank you bye <laughs>
and that's the reason the price dropped let's check SPY uh, price dropped again price came up price did not go anywhere so but have you seen this guys jumped that tells what if you go and check all my trading videos uh, how I trade if I see something like this that tells me there were a lot of buyers so that's what it is they the market makers did drop the price because they want to fill up the orders okay they want to fill up the order they drop the price and now it has jumped up so that's what it is okay the market makers are the one who creates the volume and everything I, I would love to make one day video about the market makers but not today uh, Microsoft check guys before the earnings they drop the price because they want to they don't want to pay you the premium that's what it is they dropped the price so badly and the people whoever was like trading right over here and the people who are like now was don't know what they they were doing they kicked them out right over here i can imagine they kicked them out right over here and next day the microsoft bought the earnings they already stack up their money the money came first that's the reason it jumped all right guys and well let's check qqq remember i said like it doesn't match up in my head because of this reason qqq dropped but this was the first thing it said i said like it doesn't match up in my head uh, i said like it has to be two plus two it has to be four not three but this is what exactly i mean to say because the other market was like going downwards but the qqq was still was still up you know that's the reason i was like saying that they were buying it basically basically they were buying it they want to buy the dip and the market makers they just shake you off that's what the market makers did let's check amazon amazon hold on computer is getting hang i guess let's check amazon okay there you go amazon price came down but amazon came up again because of qqq because they bought the amazon is also in the qqq and spy you know all those things uh like whenever they are buying big uh, etf that get divided so amazon is also up no doubt and wants to go up strong no doubt tesla ready to move up guys tesla i have a price target right now Tesla should go 190 to like $200 easily, 190, 180, 190 to $200 easily at this point when the market is about to turn and Tesla is about to turn right now. I'm pretty much sure Kathy is like stacking up her bets on it. They, they are stacking on their bets on it. That's what I can tell you. Okay. She doesn't run out of uh, this, what do you call it? She doesn't run out of money. So right now I'm still kind of like bullish on Tesla. Tesla should go to $180 to like $100 and $200 dollars between this, this between this range. Let's just mark this. Uh, let's just mark this. Uh, no, uh, it came up. God, computer is getting hang. Hmm. What just happened? Okay. I want to mark as a as a box. I have some more trend lines over here, so. That's my technical thing, guys. You know, there are a lot of things goes in my head, but I'm still looking for 180 to $200 a price on Tesla. So again, do your own research. Don't take my word on it. That's what I can say. Okay, that's the price. I just want to mark it right now. Okay, so let's check Apple. Apple, like I said, Apple, you remember I made a video, came, come up, dropped, come up, dropped, come up, dropped come up drop a little bit and ready to move up bullish apple is bullish guys the market is bullish that's what i can say because apple is running in two ways uh, in s p as well as uh, nasdaq is running in two 
two different sectors in the in the tech so again check facebook okay there you go 88 dollars in six months time facebook has doubled their price my god check this out guys check this out in one year facebook is already double the price check this out from 88 dollars to like 234 dollars facebook is strong 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 no doubt strong 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 facebook is strong let's check this i added this one my uh mac uh no, no, not micro sorry uh mastercard mastercard plays a very good role in our u.s economy everybody is having a plastic card in their wallet today you know like a visa and pa uh, mastercard so we will come to know what exactly economy is doing also because if the people are using the uh, credit card or the debit card basically and uh, it's not kind of like that strong but the price came uh, on the sideways direction for almost like a uh, it came up a little bit over here no doubt but from since, since like january the price is still on the like sideways direction so that's what it is also so please uh, it is not that that strong that's what i can say uh, it's okay but the us economy is still good that's what i can say because the mastercard is doing good that means people are like really spending money and everything basically the credit card industry let's check one more thing and that is visa visa this most of the debit card visa is holding most of the debit card debit accounts uh the pr check the price is it came down a little bit it will going to come pretty a little bit down but uh, not that much you know but the price will going to go up but i'm not calling any type of like a big crash or something like that but still price is really strong that's what i can say price is very very strong that's what i can say so please be careful if you're trading you know and uh, this video again is just for the education purpose only you uh whatever i say in this video probably you might won't make the money you probably make you might make the money but what i'm trying to say you know like i'm not a financial advisor or a broker in order to let you know that you will going to make 100 percent money on this video okay so that was just a disclaimer for you guys please hit that subscribe button like button it helps the youtube algorithm basically you know uh, let me know if you have a question below uh, or send me an email at swiss capital gain at gmail.com and if you want me to check any of your personal stock or something like that, I can let you know. You know, this is just a short term, guys. I'm a day trader. Whatever my things do change, no doubt, uh, daily. You know, if the price came down, then I'm on the bo bearish. If the price came up, I'm bullish. So I'm a day trader. I'm not a long term seasonal trader. No, I don't do that. So because of there are a lot of reasons I don't do that. There are too many players in the market. That's what I can say today. Uh, too many players in the market all right guys i'm about to close this uh, technical analysis video uh, please uh, stay peace and stay blessed as always all right guys bye